My Adventure in Japan My name is Alex, and ever since I was a child growing up in a small town in the United States, I have always been fascinated by Japan. My father used to tell me stories about far-off lands and ancient cultures, sparking my curiosity about the world. Japan, in particular, captured my imagination with its rich history, vibrant culture, and breathtaking landscapes. After years of saving and planning, I finally decided it was time to turn my dream of visiting Japan into reality. The planning phase of my trip was an adventure in itself. I spent months researching the best places to visit, learning essential Japanese phrases, and meticulously planning my itinerary. I wanted to experience everything Japan had to offer, from the bustling streets of Tokyo to the serene temples of Kyoto. I poured over travel blogs, watched YouTube videos, and even joined online forums to gather as much information as possible. Each piece of information I gathered only heightened my excitement. I booked my flights and accommodation, ensuring I found places that offered both comfort and authenticity. The day of my departure was a mix of nervousness and exhilaration. As I boarded the plane, my heart raced with anticipation. The flight to Japan felt both long and short at the same time, with my mind filled with dreams of the adventures awaiting me. When the plane finally landed in Tokyo, I could hardly contain my excitement. The airport was a whirlwind of activity, with people from all walks of life bustling around. I felt a sense of wonder as I stepped off the plane and into the land of the rising sun. Tokyo was everything I had imagined and more. The city's skyline was a dazzling display of modern architecture, with towering skyscrapers and neon lights creating a vibrant and dynamic atmosphere. Yet, amidst the hustle and bustle, there was a sense of order and harmony that was uniquely Japanese. My first stop was the iconic Shibuya Crossing where I joined the throngs of people crossing the street in a perfectly choreographed dance. The sheer energy of the place was electrifying, and I felt a thrill as I became a part of it. Exploring Tokyo was a feast for the senses. I visited the historic Meiji Shrine, a tra One of the most memorable experiences in Tokyo was visiting the Team Lab Borderless Digital Art Museum. The immersive exhibits, which combined light, sound, and movement, transported me to otherworldly realms. I wandered through rooms filled with cascading flowers, shifting landscapes, and glowing lanterns, feeling as though I had stepped into a dream. Each exhibit was a new adventure, stimulating my imagination and sparking a sense of childlike wonder. Despite the city's modernity, I found that tradition was never far away. I took a day trip to the ancient city of Kamakura, where I visited the Great Buddha, a towering bronze statue that exuded a sense of calm and reverence. Walking through the bamboo groves of Hokakuji Temple, I felt a deep connection to nature, appreciating the peaceful beauty of the swaying bamboo stalks. I also attended a traditional tea ceremony, where I learned about the meticulous art of preparing and serving matcha. The ceremony was a meditative experience, 
with each movement carefully choreographed to create a sense of harmony and tranquility. After exploring Tokyo, I decided to venture to Kyoto, a city renowned for its well-preserved temples, traditional wooden houses, and stunning gardens. The journey on the Shinkansen bullet train was an adventure in itself. As the train sped through the countryside at incredible speeds, I gazed out the window at the picturesque landscapes passing by. In Kyoto, I was immediately struck by the contrast to Tokyo's bustling streets. Kyoto's pace was slower, its streets quieter, and its atmosphere imbued with a sense of history and tradition. One of my favorite places in Kyoto was the Fushimi Inari Shrine, famous for its thousands of red torii gates that formed a winding path up the mountainside. Walking through the gates felt like entering another world, each one leading me deeper into the serene forest. The hike to the top was challenging, but the view from the summit was breathtaking, offering a panoramic vista of the city below. Another highlight was the Arashima Bamboo Grove, where towering bamboo stalks created a mesmerizing and almost otherworldly atmosphere. As the wind rustled through the leaves, I felt a sense of peace and tranquility wash over me. I also visited the Kinkakuji, or the Golden Pavilion, one of Kyoto's most iconic landmarks. The pavilion's golden exterior shimmered in the sunlight, reflecting beautifully on the surrounding pond. The meticulously landscaped gardens added to the sense of serenity, creating a picture-perfect scene that seemed straight out of a painting. Each temple and garden I visited in Kyoto offered a glimpse into Japan's rich cultural heritage, showcasing the country's deep respect for nature and tradition. Food was another major highlight of my journey. In Kyoto, I savored traditional kaiseki meals, multi-course dinners that were a true feast for the senses. Each dish was a work of art, carefully prepared and beautifully presented. I was particularly fond of the delicate flavors of tempura, the rich and savory taste of miso soup, and the refreshing sweetness of machi. I also enjoyed visiting local markets, where I sampled street food like takoyaki, octopus balls, taiyaki, fish-shaped cakes filled with sweet red bean paste, and yakitori, grilled chicken skewers. One evening, I had the chance to dress in a yukata, a traditional Japanese garment, and participate in a local festival. The streets were filled with people in colorful attire, and the air was alive with the sounds of music and laughter. I joined in the traditional dances, marveling at the sense of community and joy that permeated the festival. The night ended with a spectacular fireworks display, lighting up the sky with brilliant colors and leaving me in awe. As my journey continued, I found myself falling in love with Japan's natural beauty. I traveled to the Japanese Alps, where I hiked through stunning mountain landscapes and pristine lakes. The fresh mountain air and the breathtaking views were invigorating and I felt a deep sense of connection to the natural world. I also visited the hot springs of Hakone, where I soaked in the rejuvenating waters while gazing at the majestic Mount Fuji. The experience was both relaxing and awe-inspiring, offering a perfect blend of tranquility and grandeur. Throughout my travels, I was continually impressed by the kindness and hospitality of the Japanese people. Despite the language barrier, I found that a smile and a few basic phrases were often enough to bridge the gap. Locals were always willing to help, whether it was giving directions, recommending places to eat, or simply sharing a friendly conversation. I felt a genuine warmth and openness from the people I met which made my journey even more special. As my trip came to an end, I reflected on the incredible experiences I had in Japan. 
I had gained a deeper understanding and appreciation for the Japanese way of life, from their meticulous attention to detail to their deep respect for nature and tradition. The journey had been everything I had hoped for and more, filled with adventure, discovery, and moments of profound beauty. I felt a profound sense of gratitude for the opportunity to explore such a beautiful and fascinating country. When I returned home, I couldn't wait to share my adventures with my friends and family. I recounted stories of my travels, showing them photos and souvenirs I had collected along the way. I knew that my journey to Japan was just the beginning of my love affair with travel. The memories I made and the lessons I learned would stay with me forever, inspiring me to continue exploring the world with an open heart and an adventurous spirit.